Donald Trump was arrested, convicted, sentenced, and put to death in less than 24 hours by this corrupt and evil government. Of course that didn't happen, but the way people are talking about it, that's what they're acting like. According to Donald Trump, he was raided. In reality, a search warrant was executed. A search warrant was executed at his Mar-a-Lago residence. Of course, MAGA cultists are losing their heads, losing their minds, <laughs> what little minds they have left, and are claiming all sorts of things. This is the death of democracy. Like, wow, it's amazing, because wasn't, weren't the left just claiming it was the def death of democracy a few months ago? But these people are making claims as if this is the end of the world, this is the death of democracy, and if they could do it to Trump, they can do it to all of us. Motherfucker, they've been doing it to us, especially us. <laughs> they've been doing it to us. But y'all wanted to back the blue. Y'all wanted to, y'all believed in law and order. Now all of a sudden, it's like I said, Greg Kelly tweeted some nonsense earlier today, and my response was, oh yeah, everybody, a lot of people love law and order until law and order is targeting them. Like, now all of a sudden it's a problem. They, they can, Breonna Taylor could get murdered in her apartment, but now it's a problem. He wasn't even in, he wasn't even in the home. So like when other people deal with search warrants, knock that their doors knocked down in the middle of the night, SWAT there, everybody, you know, they're woken up, dragged into the living room or into their front yard in, in their drawers and pajamas and whatever. Like that's not a problem. That's not a problem. But Trump, who's not even at the residence and the FBI goes there, apparently I, the reports are his attorneys were there as well. That's not the end of the world. And people are like this politically targeted, it's an investigation. This belief and these acting like Trump is above reproach when we know how crooked and corrupt he is. Yeah, we know he's crooked and corrupt because he's admitted it. He's admitted he was greasing palms of cro crooked politicians. So he was the other side of the, of the corruption. He was paying for play. But the reason why these politicians haven't gone after him because they're, they're implicated in that same nonsense, but they know he's corrupt because they were corrupt with them. But you see Trump's problem, Trump's fatal flaw is that he's lazy. He's lazy. So he doesn't even want to do the work to cover his tracks properly. That makes him an easy target. The difference between him and Hillary is that Hillary, Hillary and Bill have perfected their corruption. It's an art form for them. They know how to cover their tracks with such flair and panache that it's, it's, it's actually scary. It's really scary. But people are acting like this is the end of the world. No, it's an investigation. Shut the hell up and let's see what this investigation pulls up. Because this investigation isn't even about, oh, we're going to take down Trump. No, this is about Trump removing paperwork and classified materials that weren't supposed to be kept in private. So the National Archives has been saying for months, hey, no, you've had stuff in your possession that we're supposed to have. Give it over. They had already taken some boxes, but I guess for some reason they felt that the materials they wanted, the rest of the materials they wanted or additional materials they wanted was in his possession and was in danger of being destroyed. So if they can make that claim and guess what? I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to bet you that the, the underlying basis for them making such a claim is going to be something stupid that Trump said at one of his rallies. Something stupid that Trump said publicly is going to be the basis because Donald Trump is a complete moron and he'll say stupid stuff like that out loud and then wonder why, oh, they've got a search warrant. They've got a surprise search warrant to pop up on my, at my crib. How'd that happen? And it's so interesting that the same people that, oh, back the blue, law and order, are now calling for the defunding of the police. Literally, they're calling for the abolishment of the FBI. So now the right wants to abolish the police. Candace Owens and a bunch of these other idiots are out there right now calling for the abolishment of the FBI. So when the government targets you, it's a problem. When the government targets me, comply, obey the law, stop resisting. Even if they're doing something wrong, just follow the process and handle it later. But with y'all, oh, it's, it's the end of the world. But it's more than that. You know, let me tell you why it's more than that. Because I'm looking at this and I'm seeing people trying to act as if this is concerning. This is, there's nothing concerning about this. If anything, this is, this would lean more towards being reassuring, despite the fact that I know it's, that we can't guarantee that the government will do this in every instance. But 
it's good that they're at least doing it in this instance. Let me tell you why. Donald Trump is being investigated in his official capacity. Donald Trump, the private citizen, is not being investigated. Donald Trump, the former president, is being investigated. That means that even as the president of the United States, he's not above the law. That's a good thing. That's a good thing because if the, the government is telling us that even the president is not above the law and will be investigated if, if he is believed to have done something wrong, that's a good thing. But more importantly, what is he being investigated for? Like I said, this is the National Archives investigation. This is about getting back records. The government trying to get control of records that never should have been out of the government's possession. The same way Donald Trump treated his charities as his personal piggy banks, Donald Trump treated the government as his personal corporation, as his personal concierge. That's what he, that's what he thought it was. And people had to keep telling him, no, 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 no. There's rules, there's process, and you are not a king. You are not a monarch. You have limits on your authority and your power. Donald Trump can't, couldn't seem to get that through his head. And so Donald Trump taking official records and treating them like it's personal property is a huge problem. Because if for any reason the public needs to get a hold of certain records and they can't be produced, why? Because Donald Trump decided he wasn't going to leave them where they should have been left, that he should be the arbiter of where these records are kept and if they're released to anybody who's requesting them. No, that's absurd. And those records need to be secured and placed back where they are. That's why I'm looking at this as a win. It's a win to make sure, okay, if you've got records you're not supposed to have, get those where they're supposed to be. We're going to get those where they're supposed to be since you're playing games. Since you don't seem to be able to understand instructions. Since you don't be seem to be able to understand the limits of your authority. Donald Trump doesn't now nor has he ever understood the limits of his authority as president of the United States. But these clowns is caping for him. These clowns is caping for him to be in a position, for the government to be in a position where it's completely unaccountable. That's what they're caping for. Because like I said, Donald Trump, the private citizen, isn't being investigated. Donald Trump, the former president of the United States, is being investigated. Like that stuff isn't supposed to be in his private possession. Because if for whatever reason, like I said, if people need or requesting access to these records, requesting copies of these records, requesting to see this information. It needs to be in the government's possession so that when these requests are made, the information can be provided. So the whole point is I'm saying with the, because if you've never filed any FOI requests, I remember when I filed an action, I actually had to take it to court because the agency I was trying to get the records from, it was the BOP, it was while I was incarcerated, and I'm trying to get a hold of these records. And I needed these records to assist in proving my case. And they're trying to prevent me from getting these records. So I had to take them to court, took them to court, filed the action, filed a, a FOIA action in court, in federal court, and was able to win. I beat them on summary judgment, got control of the records that I needed. But you see, this is the problem. And that's why I'm so attuned to this, because I know how important it is for the public to have access to governmental records. So when you have a scumbag like Donald Trump removing government records from government possession, that's a problem. That's the problem for us. But these, these MAGA stands, these cultists, these idiots that can't think past go. It's not even that they can't think past go. They're just partisan hacks. These partisan hacks are actually arguing for the government to be less accountable. This action is about the government being more accountable. Donald Trump not having government materials in his possession, those materials being where they're supposed to be, so if people need to get a control of them or access to them, they can. That's a win for the people. Donald Trump having being able to decide what is and what isn't provided is not a win for the people. And then people try to say stuff like Donald Trump is the most transparent. This clown didn't even release his taxes. And he kept saying he would. He lied and said he would at certain points and then never did. And just people forget about how much of a liar and a fraud he is. But when you boil everything down to one simple thing, it's an investigation. Relax. If I wanted to parrot y'all, I'd say, if he, didn't if he didn't do anything wrong, he has nothing to hide. <laughs> that's what y'all say. That's what, that's what MAGA country says. If he didn't do anything wrong, he has nothing to hide. Well, we're here in this situation because Trump is a moron. But the whole point is, he's not arrested. He's not being charged with anything. And this isn't the first time the FBI has 
people like, oh, he's a potential future pre uh, candidate for president. Okay, well, they investigated another candidate for president, 2016. Did y'all forget about that already? Did y'all forget that Hillary was investigated during the election? That much before the election, James Comey gets up on, on <laughs> television and reads her the riot act for doing stupid stuff with records. But that's important because this is government officials shouldn't be playing fast and loose with government information. They shouldn't be acting like official information is their personal property. Because when officials start acting like that, that's when the chain of custody starts getting broken. And when we need to get a hold of that information for various reasons, we can't get it because, oh, we don't know where it is. Oh, they had it at their home, but they, but they lost it. When they moved, it got, it got moved someplace else. There was a fire at their home and it, it got destroyed. Oh, they, they didn't realize they were supposed to keep it for a certain amount of time and they shredded the papers and they shredded the papers. That's the kind of stupid stuff that would happen if we allow government officials to treat official documents as their personal property. And that's what some people, some government officials want to do intentionally. We can't go for that. We cannot accept that. So I see this as a potential win for accountability. That's it. Not, it's not, not as big a deal as they're making it. And it's not the end of the world. As always, don't forget to hit the thumbs up, like, share, subscribe. If you have not subscribed already, but if you disagree, if you think, no, no, this is, this is a sign that the, the communism is here, Marxism, this is, this is the coming after MAGA, you got to fight back. I got a question for you. Give me, yeah, go ahead and give me the thumbs down, but I do have a question for you and I want you to answer it for me. How is this the end of the world if they already stole the election? I'm just saying. And if you like this video, you can click right here. And check out another video I did on Donald Trump that's very enlightening. I'll see you next time.